Alright. So in the bottom right hand side we have our red Protoss player downlink. And in the top left we have the blue Zerg player Sergeant Duck. Neither of these players have I seen before, so I don't know what to expect really from either of them. But I'm going to predict a gold hatch first from Sergeant Duck. That's my prediction for this game. With that being said, the Protoss player, what will he do? Protoss player will... Nexus first. Let's see, Nexus first, come on. Nope, JK, goes gateway first, okay. So, we actually have a gas first from the Zerg player. Um, is this going to be for a speedling attack? Maybe. Maybe a roach push. Not sure. Not sure what to see here. Alright. So, this is a pretty standard opening from our Protoss player. He's got his gas down. Um, he's only got one mining in gas. That's not normal but he probably just hasn't noticed honestly not a hundred percent sure though okay now he's got two does he have a rallied? okay so he has a rallied so he's got a timing in mind he's got a timing in mind with this he wants he doesn't want to put three probes in there immediately he just wants them to finish and go so there's cyber core and this probe is probably gonna go scout probably probably maybe okay now it's going to scout but our Zerk player has a ton of money. He's starting speed and he's got a bunch of lings on the way. So it is going to be for an early speedling attack. Is it going to be for drops? I think he's going to go for speedling drops. With this Evo chamber and everything on the way. Let's take a look at these overlords just to make sure I've got that right. Alright, so ventral sex, 25-25 and requires evolution chamber. And he's got a baneling nest on the way. So I can't imagine what else it will be. Um... Maybe this game will be raining Banelings. I can only hope he'll rain some Banelings on, on this Protoss player's parade. So there's some Zergling sitting here. Hopefully he'll catch onto that. He is heavily supply blocked though. He doesn't even have an Overlord on the way. He does take his first base at the gold. He's gonna run up here and... Oh, don't lose these Lings. You don't want to lose these Lings. He's gonna lose the Lings. Oh, uh, this one actually got a- oh no, no! Oh, Dirt bling. Yep, and there's the ventral stacks. Unfortunately, he lost all of his zerglings, except for the ones that are being rallied across right now. Maybe that's how good players get rid of their supply blocks, they just have their units get killed. Maybe I need to take a page out of this book. Alright, so what I think he's going to do is he's going to drop his zerglings up here. He's going to morph them into banelings and walk them over here. And actually, that would be really sick, because if he does that, Downlink has no pylons over here to protect himself. But we will see. We will see. Alright, so there are six Zerglings in the main. Um, there's one Adept out, and it's in the natural. Oh man. Probes are already going down. Oh, and they're stuck. Those probes are getting massacred. Alright, there's a pylon overcharge. Okay, so he's already killed 11 workers, he's still down quite a bit though, but he might be favored for this, I'm not 100% sure. Oh, uh, pylon overcharge, he's gonna lose another ling. Oh man, this adept is gonna go down too. Oh, he's gonna get out of the range of the pylon too. Alright, there are still two adepts out on the field, but the Protoss is gonna lose a ton of workers here. Okay, so where are those banelings at? Here are the two banelings. These are the these are the real heroes. The pylon did finish up in the natural or the main mineral line. There's only seven probes here, so it'd be a shame if you walk the probe. Don't walk them in now. There's no probes there. Well, there's really no probes at all. All right, let's take a look. He's down to 22 workers. He's lost 18. Oh, they're running from the baneling. Photon overcharge. Photo. Oh, he doesn't have any photon overcharge energy. Okay, there it is. Oh, that was really. Really disappointing, I won't lie. So these Zerglings are all going to have a sad day. Um, there won't be enough energy for a food on overcharge for quite some time now. This pylon's going to go down. He should let a couple Lings slip through so that way he can do that. He's probably just going to elevate these Lings in now. 
Oh boy, the Protoss is going to have a hell of a time trying to clean this up. It's going to be really difficult. Um, never mind, he warps in four depths. That should be more than enough. But let's take a look here at the economies. 19 workers down, but he's still way ahead of Sergeant Duck. He hasn't droned like... He just... Oh, he only transferred drones from his main to his natural. That's why he's so far behind. I was wondering how he was mining off his gold. Now it all makes sense. He really needs to drone up. Oh, don't do this. Please don't do this. Please don't do this. Oh, uh, not worth it at all. Nothing even got unpowered. Oh, he tried. But there just wasn't enough. Oh, he doesn't have any pylons back here. You really need to have more... Oh, man. If he would have had pylons back here, this would have been easier. He's got two banelings morphing in right there. We'll see if that proves to be helpful or not. All of these adepts are going down. He's taking massive damage here. But our Zerg player is massively all in. Like, he is so all in. Okay. Well, that actually wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. I thought that adept was at least going to die. Alright, let's take a look. Still 14 workers. Not a single drone has been produced since he hit the 15 drone mark. And there's a warp prism coming out here for a downlink. Um, I don't know how I feel about that, honestly. He knows what position he's in. He needs more pylons up here. And he needs to have something over here. He needs a probe idling or something. Just anything over here to watch for the Overlord. So the Overlord's coming in. He's going to drop some more lings into the main. And the main mineral line's going to have a bad time. The Warp Prism is coming out. And let me tell you, if he could get an Adept or two over to the other side, Sergeant Duck is actually expanding. I'm sorry. When you have 14 supply of workers, you don't need three bases. I would say that was a waste of lings, my friend. That was a waste of lings. Or he could have made more queens or something, I don't know. So Downlink has lost even more workers. He's lost 36 in total. But he's still ahead by 10 workers, which is huge. This warp prism is flying across the map. He's got a ton of links just sitting here. He's gonna be so confused whenever he flies in here and sees that there's like no drones up here. He's gonna be like, what the hell? And there are so many links just chilling here. And I don't know, what is Sergeant Duck even doing? Okay, he's busy microing these links over here. I was trying to figure out why he's not moving anything. Alright, so while he's doing this, he's losing a good bit. Oh, he actually F2'd his army and like, sent those across the map. Um, I don't know if this is going to be worth it for downlink. He's lost all of his workers, I think. He's They're both down to minuscule amounts of workers, to be honest. He needs to go pick up these adepts. Pick up the adept. Oh, he lost one. I do believe that means there are no workers for Sergeant Duck and no money to make more. So, no, don't fight right there, fight, send, put your depths back here in the corner where they can't be targeted like that. So at this point he really just wants to fend this off, um, he's down to like no workers at all. Hold command, hold command, alright, those Zerglings are going to get massacred. And he's never taken care of this overlord, this one overlord has caused him so many problems. If he just would have made one stalker to keep that overlord away from his base, life would have been so much better. And he's going to lose these four probes up here. It's actually going to be five because another one's about to pop out. That really stings. Oh no, 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 no. Send, send them back. You need all of your adepts at the front. It looks like our Zerg player might be able to pull this out because he's got enough Zerglings, I think, to handle everything the Protoss has, since the Protoss decided to split up his Adepts. You really just need to pull all of his probes up here by the Adepts and let the Adepts keep them safe. He doesn't have enough money anymore for any more workers, so if he loses those two probes, which I'm pretty sure his last ones, he's down to two probes. If he loses any more probes, he loses the game. Um, somehow this Zerg player still has a ton of lings. He's actually got 18. Like, I'm actually amazed. And he needs to just pick these up and take them home. Like, he needs everything at home right now. Of course, I know this, but he doesn't. Since I'm observing. But even still, he should see that there are no drones anywhere. Oh, man. 
downlink just leaves the game. He doesn't even no GG. He just says forget this, man. And I don't blame him. I want to know. Okay, let's see. Workers killed. Downlink killed 14 workers. There was a total of maybe okay one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so Sergeant Duck made 19 drones and won this game. An almost 10 minute game he won with 19 drones. Crazy. Absolutely crazy. GG guys.